Hi, and welcome to Chamber Chat here at the Inside Lowell Studios. I'm Danielle McFadden, president of the Greater Lowell Chamber of Commerce. I have some wonderful guests on with me today. I have Thomas Bringle, the Development and Communications Director for Girls, Inc. of Greater Lowell, and Carrie Meekle, board member, and um, just a wonderful community member who's involved in so, she's like, what are you gonna say about me? <laughs> Who's just involved in so many different things. If I feel like it's a party, so I'm there. Yes, yeah. So party planner, party goer, party celebrator. Um, and that's what we're here to talk about. Yeah. We're Absolutely. here to talk about a huge celebration that's happening. The celebration of today's women event. Yes. I'm so excited to hear all about this. Good morning, everyone. And yes, the 29th annual celebration of Amen. today's woman honoring UMass Lowell Chancellor Julie Chen. We're really excited about that. So let's talk, for, we'll start about with the logistics, the date, the place and all that. And then let's talk about just the event as a whole and Julie and all the fun stuff that we want to dive into. So it's next week, Thursday, June 1st at the UMass Lowell ICC. And we begin at 6 p.m. Excellent. And um, yes, about Julie. Oh my goodness, we are so <laughs> yeah, yeah, She's excited. a good friend of yours. Oh. <laughs> She's a good friend of mine. She's a good friend of everyone in the greater Lowell community, but we are just absolutely honored that she um, accepted the um, Celebration of Today's Women Award for this year. We um, obviously give out these awards every year. It's a very, very, very competitive group of people who are nominated. Um, as you know, we obviously have a long history of very strong, yes. bold, you know, women here in Lowell. And the list of previous recipients, of course, is absolutely incredible. And I feel like Julie fits right in. And she's also just raising the bar that much higher. She is. I'm like, How, where do you go after Julie Chen? I don't know. <laughs> Good luck on the 30th. <laughs> oh, I you. know. <laughs> the challenge has been Challenge made. accepted. <laughs> accepted for sure yes but we, yeah to go along with what carrie just said you know julie represents what we want our girls to be um when they leave Gr girls inc we want them to be you know healthy educated independent women um who hopefully will stay here in the community yes. and be there our leaders of tomorrow so we're really excited for you know, not only for Julie to receive this award, but also to inspire our girls and empower them really to be strong, smart, and bold. Yes, and and Julie's just amazing. She's a triple threat from MIT, obviously a mechanical engineer, incredible university administrator. She has um, an incredible background in DEI and. You know, the one thing I think almost everyone says about Julie is for all of her accomplishments and obvious academic and intellectual um, intelligence, she's very down to earth. She is. She's very absolutely. humble. And whether she's talking to a student or a major donor or someone out in the community, she's always present. She really gives you her full attention and you really feel like she is sincerely interested in you know what you are saying and what's going on so you know in terms of you know someone that we really want to role model for our girls she is the epitome i think of, yeah, I of what we're looking for for the uh celebration of today's woman recipient absolutely it's such a good point and she is totally present and it's not easy to you know to be able to talk to big donors and you know high you know, alumni that the that the university looks up to, and then also students, right? They don't. There's a lot of people that can't communicate on all those different levels, and that's that's great that you were able to get her to agree to that, right? <laughs> well, she was very funny because I think in one of our texts after she received the award, she's just like, "Oh, you know, I hope I can live up to this." Oh my! You're like you've already lived up to this. Were you the one that called her? To no, I wasn't the one who called her, but I did, um, you know, text with her afterwards. But it's it's a very very competitive field. It's very funny because I am not part of the selection committee. We have a very diverse group of community volunteers. Yep who serve on the uh, event committee. And we kind of handed it off to them because a lot of us on the board were like, oh, 
this is a really tough field. I don't want to be responsible for this. So we passed the buck and they did a fantastic job. But yes, every year we ask for nominations from from the community. And needless to say, we get a lot of really incredible, fabulous women nominated. And so, yes, it's a very, very, very tough, you know, selection. But that's a good thing. You know, I don't look, I don't see that as a bad thing. No, of course not. You have a pipeline for when you start planning for the next one on June 2nd. (laughs) Exactly. <laughs> so we're really excited about we're really excited about our, this event coming up. Um, and you know, again, like many events here in Lowell, the who's who of Lowell will act, will be there. Yep. Um, so we're we're excited to see them all there and participate, and uh, you know, to really share their uh, appreciation for what Julie is bringing to the community um, and, and raising the bar for UMass Lowell. So. Uh, we're glad to be a part of that. It's really exciting. Yes. So what can people expect when they come to the event? Uh, well, well, lots of, lots of was, very, very... He was really hoping I didn't ask that, by the way. But <laughs> I had... Actually, food. you're right. I was hoping lots, you were going to ask that. Uh, yes. They'll, they'll see like a lot of their friends and, and people they know here in Lowell. Um, we will have some of the girls from Girls that, Age, that's which awesome. is always yes. fantastic. And they will be doing various things throughout the evening. So you have to come to find out. But it will be very entertaining. Yes. And of course, you know, we will have um, presentations of like our scholarship award. Oh, great. Yeah. Yes. That's uh, so the nice. Mary Sampas Literacy mm-hmm. Award. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have uh, speakers who are um, alumni and we also have um, some other speakers lined up, but I, I won't go f- so much into that. And of they course, they are not given the dirt. I yeah. tried. We, we do have some of the past CTW recipients in attendance, great. and it's always a great group to have this reunion every year because they come and they welcome the new um, CTW oh, recipient. Oh, wonderful. Yes, so um, that's always like a really nice um, yeah. welcome to, to, to yeah. this, this group. So we really wanted to make this a, you know, a, a fun event for the community yep. and all those who are involved. And, you know, it's, yes, it's... Uh, a semi-formal attire, but we wanted it to, to be more of a social event. Yeah. You know, people can relax and enjoy each other and um, have some fun along the way. And so, um, you know, we're very fortunate because uh, our MC for the evening is, is Shirley Lung from the Boston Globe. How fun. You guys got all the heavy hitters for this event. Um, we reached out and I think we really wanted to show off um, I'll say girl power. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of influential girls I, and women. I can women get behind that. And um, this is an opportunity for us to showcase what Girls Inc. really, really is truly about and what it does for, for girls in our community. Awesome. So to have role models mm-hmm. like Shirley, like Julie, um, some of our, our past recipients of the celebration of today's Woman Award, uh, it, there will be an, a, it'll be a house full of power. Yeah. So we're really excited about that. Yeah. And then you also have a raffle going on as part of this. Yeah. Want to talk about the raffle? No, because I want to win the Red Sox tickets. Oh, you're supposed you're supposed you're supposed to be selling tickets to help. You know. So, yeah, yeah, on, I know. No, but if I sell more tickets, that means my Your chances, chances are, are yeah. Left. So oh, I'm okay. gonna spill the beans. I will. <laughs> right, okay. Since Carrie we'll already Tom brought up the one. Red Sox tickets. Um, you know, we're we're grateful <laughs> to our friends at Low Five for donating. Uh, four tickets to an um, upcoming Boston Red Sox game. Um, Because no one here really wants to go to the Red Sox, right? Especially (laughs) not when it's like nice out, you know, it's like getting warmer. So, you know, we have those. We also have, um, and I know, um, hopefully I won't embarrass her, but uh, Carrie and Dr. Eric um, donated just a stunning heart, diamond heart-shaped necklace. That's great. Um, And then... um, Our friends um, at Tomo 360 and Susu Wang um, donated a double strand of pearls uh, to be auctioned off. So um, if you're interested in any of those items, please purchase tickets and you can do that. Um, We are selling them at $25 a shot or five for a hundred. And all those can be done, purchased online through our website. So you don't have to be at the event to purchase or win? No, you do not. 
Great. Um, and those who are attending the event, you'll have up until about 7.30 p.m. that evening to uh, purchase your tickets. And then during the evening, we will announce the winners of those particular. Excellent. When we post the podcast, we'll post the link for people to purchase those too. And try Absolutely. To get some people to so, so don't buy Except tickets. The- so I have a better chance of winning the Red Sox tickets. <laughs> or if you have, you know, season tickets, give Carrie a pair. She really wants to go to the Red Sox. <laughs> So, Make that happen for her, please. Well, you won't have to worry about me doing that because I grew up in just south of Philadelphia, so I'm a, I'm a Phillies fan, unfortunately. I'm like, do I have to turn your mic off? <laughs> yes. I'm not sure what yes. I need to do right now. <laughs> so unless, you know, the Red Sox are playing the Phillies, I have no interest in those tickets. But, um, you know, give Carrie a shot. <laughs> Well, if you had told us this during your interview, you might not have gotten the position. Yeah, yet. all of a sudden he's spilling the beans. Okay, from now on, I'll keep my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> so all the money for this event that is raised goes back to Girls, Inc. Yes. Can we talk a little bit about that and the importance of a fundraiser like this for your organization? So Girls, Inc. is a very important organization for really um, focusing and supporting girls and young women in the greater Lowell community. Um, I think those of us, um, you know, who have grown up as girls know that it's not a level playing field out there. There's a lot of um, issues and uh, obstacles and Mm -hmm. challenges to being a girl in today's society. And I love that Girls Inc. really addresses those things head on. Um, the, The staff, the program, the mission, is not afraid to address those issues that a lot of people just want to sweep under the table and pretend everything's mm-hmm. fine and everything is equal and you know we're in the 21st century so this is wonderful so girls inc i think it plays an incredible role in society and really giving girls the support and the training and resources that they need and it's really you know, true to its mission in terms of strong smart bold yeah. we want our girls to become strong, smart, bold women. And that is, you know, the primary mission and goal. And that is what everything we do is aimed at. And thank you for doing that. And we talked a little bit off air about the girls being involved in the event and, you know, the importance of having them involved and they helped design the program. That is so cool. Talk about that, please. (laughs) Sure. So in the past, you know, we've had a multitude of program covers and versions of a program from, you know, five by seven to eight, eight and a half by 11. But this year we really wanted to take stake in the fact that the girls are, are just as important as, as our honoree. And uh, we wanted them to have a part. And uh, so we presented them with three or four options of, of a program cover and we let them choose. And one of the things that I was saying earlier off air was uh, one of the girls said that the program should represent us as an organization. And I asked her the question of, what do you mean by that? And she said, well, we're all different. And the cover should represent us, each one of us. So the cover has a set of multicolored hands all around as a border. And those colors represent each and every one of the girls and from where they're from and their backgrounds. And so... Um, the logo is then surrounded um, with our motto of strong, smart, and bold. And it's done in three languages, English, Spanish, and Khmer, which are representative of the languages that are spoken in our, our building. So um, we're very happy f- to show that off. And to make it even more interesting and, and more of an event, the girls themselves will be participating in the Excellent. program. And they'll range from age five up until age 13. So we're excited. And I'm sure for many if not all of them being a part of that program and seeing chancellor julie chen and all the other recipient past recipients in the community it's going to be life-changing for them to be a part of that something that they'll always remember we hope so we hope so (laughs) so shout out to all of our girls and staff at girls inc we love your energy and enthusiasm and we look forward to celebrating with you next week (laughs) awesome can you give the event details one more time i won't ask you to give a lowdown of the event again. I won't okay. do that to you. So it'll be next Thursday, <laughs> June 1st, from six at, starting at 6 p.m. And it will be at the UMass Lowell Inn and Conference Center. Um, it starts with a reception at 6 and followed by dinner and program. 
Excellent. Thank you both so much for being here. This was so much fun. Thank, Thank you, you, Danielle. <laughs> We had a blast. Oh, anytime. Come back. We have Bopa Malone, your executive director, coming on at the end of June. So, But anytime you want to come on, just let me know. You know how to find me now. Gotcha. <laughs> Thank you all for listening, watching our podcast today, Chamber Chat here in the Inside Lowell Studios. Until next time, we'll see you later.